Hey, yo, what's good, man? It's Derek Wrench here of Strike7Sports.com. And today's video, I just want to go ahead and just talk about, um, provide some early observations of the Memphis Tigers uh, AAC play. How did the, uh, you know, observe, analysis on how, how they have uh, performed so far uh, this season since, since opening up the uh, AAC portion of their, their 2023 2024 schedule. And from what I see, man, is that, yeah, they're getting pressed, man. The Tigers are getting pushed in these games, bro, by their opponents, man. They, 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 these teams, you know, like a, for whatever reason, I keep saying this, they treat Memphis as a Super Bowl, man. <laughs> they really do, bro. They, they treat Memphis as a Super Bowl. But the thing is, man, the Tigers have uh, responded. They have they've, they've, uh, responded to these uh, opponents, man. You know, um, Tulsa was a, um, it was, it was, a, you know, pretty much dominated Tulsa for the most part. And then when uh, that injury with Caleb uh, Mills suffered that injury, that kind of, you know, put a little, you know, that kind of messed with the, the momentum. And Tulsa, you know, slowly got back into that game. You know, but uh, Javon Quinley, you know, he hit a game with a three pointer. You know, said pretty much sealed that game. Um, second game against uh, SMU. Um, SMU was dominating, dominating them from start to finish. You know, uh, but second quarter, second quarter came. Memphis uh, slowly uh, clawed away at that lead, got back into it. SMU punching, was punching back. Then in the game's final uh, seconds. Only again came through three pointer, won it. You know, so they, um, they just got to bring the A game, bro. Every night, man. There's no, there's no um, margin for uh, like errors. You know, what I'm saying, far as like when I say margin for errors, I'm referring to like taking a day off on an opponent. You can't take a day off on none of these opponents, bro. You can't come in that lax at all. Right now, that's the way it's looking. <clears throat> because if you do, and you lose a couple, <coughs> excuse me, you drop a couple games, you know, I say like one or two here, this conference could be wide open. You know what I'm saying? This could hurt your know, seedings. You know what I'm saying? As far as getting the highest, a higher seed and a lower seed in, in the uh, NCAA tournament. You go into the tournament, but I think I'm pretty sure that uh, Penny Hardaway and you know, the program don't doesn't want to get a you know higher seed like got a, a low seed like they did last time where they're like a, a eight a eight or nine get an eight or nine matchup but um they just gotta keep winning these games man you know and um the, the, the committee you know the polls and all that are showing them love now you know they're moving up in the rankings you know they went from 15 to now being ranked 13 so that that's great you know, but they gotta keep stacking these wins, bro. Keep stacking these victories, bro. No matter, no matter how it's getting hit, it gets done. You know, three point, winning by three, winning by two, winning by five, ten. You know, it don't matter. They just gotta keep stacking these victories, man. But these teams, uh, like I said, are coming out to play, man. You know, so far, that's what I'm. And I, and to a certain extent, I like it. I like that Memphis is getting, you know, pushed by these teams because it can show you what type of resiliency resiliency they have. You know, even though they may be most superior in talent to these opponents, you know, sometimes you got to dig deep. You know what I'm saying? You got to um, find that, that third gear. And they've been doing that, man. Um, players coming through and delivering. You know, David Jones has, uh, to me, cooled off to a certain extent, but he's still coming through. He's still um, getting to the free throw line. That's That's been crucial for the Tigers, man, getting to the free throw line. Cut into these leads, you know, causing teams to cause fouls, things like that. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, man, it's uh, to me, man, it's entertaining, bro. Just enjoy the ride. If you're, if you're a Memphis fan, listen to this, to this video. Just go ahead and enjoy the ride, you know, because it's going to get fun. But he's only going to get entertaining as we um, get into the NCAA tournament. You know what I'm saying? And it's, to me, being honest, it's right there. You know, uh, we're in January right now, and February February is pretty much the last month. You know, for 
basket for competition. And then you go into conference uh, in the AAC tournament. You know what I'm saying? But um, it's looking good so far, man. You know? All right. Other news, bracketology, the uh, bracket, uh, Joe Lenardi's bracketology post, the latest projection, he got Memphis as a uh, fifth seed playing against Princeton. So, uh, that's, I mean, if, if, if a fifth seed, that wouldn't be bad. The thing is, he playing against Princeton. Depending on what type of what season it is, what type of year it is, Princeton could be a, danger, uh, uh, a dangerous matchup for you. Because you know, like I said, especially when you get into the tournament, these teams, these um, you know, lower tier teams, these teams that you know have these higher seeds, these high, big, these low seeds, like a a ten seed, a nine, a twelve seed, thirteen seed, they be coming to play, man. They be coming to play, and they don't care what type of talent you have. They don't care that you have a five star program. Five star talent, a roster with five and four, four and five star talents. You know they really don't. So they got to come in and take care of business against Princeton, man. Because Princeton in the past has been known to beat to beat um, uh, blue blood programs. Um, you know programs that have big brands, big followings, like Memphis. They've done that done that in the past. You know what I'm saying? So. You got to come in ready to play. You know what I'm saying? So, we'll see how that going to play out. But right now, Joe Lenore has Memphis as a fifth seed playing against Princeton, Princeton a 12th seed in his latest bracketology post. All right. So, I'm going to segue to uh, tonight's game. Uh, tonight, they play UTSA at FedEx Forum. I believe it's a uh, 7 o'clock tip-off. And they're playing against a team that I think is not at 500 right now, if I'm not mistaken. Not, not it's not one of the, the better teams in the conference. Um, one of the, they're not good defensively. I think they're ranked over 300 in points allowed. Uh, they're not really a good. Uh, their only gear is three point shots. They're one of the best three point teams, three point shooting teams in the country. You know, I think they're ranking the top 40, best three point shooting, three point shooting teams in the country. But so what that means is Tyler's got to be in the game tonight when it comes to um, perimeter defense. They got to be in the game tonight, you know, because three point you make team when teams can make those three point shots like that, that can really you know make things difficult for you if you are you know having issues scoring when you have issues rebounding. You know what I'm saying? We having issues getting to the free the three point line. They're not causing as many fouls. Cause Memphis has been doing that a lot. You know they've been, you know, causing teams to, uh, you know, commit fouls, get to the free throw line, cut to leads. Tonight, they just gotta, um, you know, handle business on defense. You know what I'm saying? That team is not good defensively. You know, and if Memphis do what they have to do, come in that game locked in. Um, UTSA's ability to make those three point shots wouldn't even be a factor. You know what I'm saying? But if they don't, and they let UTSA come in there, shoot threes, and be successful making those three point shots, it could be another long night. You know, we've already had two close games since the uh, conference uh, play has started. You know, and if things don't go to plan tonight, it could be another one. You know, but like I say, if you're a Tiger fan, Embrace it, you know what I'm saying. And as long as they're winning, it's great. As long as they're winning, it's good. It looks good. But other than that, man, I wouldn't worry about all this, um, these net rankings and you know all this other stuff and what type of win it is and you know what I'm saying and all what everybody else is doing. Let's embrace the um the journey right now because it's um this is the best program match look, man. In my opinion, under Penny Hardaway, you know you come in. You know, last year, you know, you wasn't even ranked around this time. You only got ranked till at the end of the season. You know, so they're taking notice. People are taking notice on the outside. You know, so we'll see. I play tonight. They play. They play UTSA. UTSA. Um, seven o'clock tip off at FedEx Forum. So we'll see. All right, so I'll have for y'all for right now, man. Give me a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Let me know how y'all feel. 
What are your thoughts on tonight's game against uh, UTSA? And also check out Stripe7Sports.com. The latest content of Memphis Tigers, Grizzlies, the NFL, the NBA, and much more. Have a blessed day. Peace. I'm out.